Welcome to Tanya Beecher Wood Turning. This channel is sponsored by Axe Wood Paste, a wood turner's best friend. Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I am turning a black walnut bowl. It's a rough turn piece that I, I rough turned on February 14th of this year. It is really dry, um, which is surprising because it was a wet whenever I um, put it away for, you know, after I rough turned it. But I, I did do two walnut pieces before in previous videos, but I have not done a bowl for a YouTube video. And I thought, okay, well, I have to do a walnut bowl because this, and I, every time I looked at my rough turn bowls, this one always just kind of screamed out at me because of the character that was in, the, in this piece of wood. So I will stop talking. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please remember to give me that thumbs up. It'll sure help me out. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate that. I'm, get, I'm getting pretty close to a thousand subscribers and whenever I do, I will have a drawing and I will be giving away some pretty cool stuff. So enjoy guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Here I am truing up the rim of the bowl. I did have to go back and um, true up the sides of the bowl because it just didn't seem like it was spinning correctly on the lathe. So I did go back and, and redo the sides of this bowl before I, I started on the inside. I did the majority of the inside of this bowl with the bowl gouge, but I am still trying to get used to using a bowl gouge on the inside of it. I feel comfortable until I get pretty close to the end of it, and then after that I'm not as comfortable. I'm still working on that, so I did switch to carbide and um, to finish this bowl. I just feel more comfortable finishing it up with carbide. I am really bad at, at the thickness of bowls. I did not before use a caliper and I just kind of felt the thickness with my fingers and I was always off on the bottom. So I decided to practice with the calipers today and I tell you what, thank goodness for calipers because I got the thickness of this bowl exactly the way I wanted it. I took a little bit off at a time and I was very pleased with the turnout of the, the bottom of the bowl this time. I just kind of want to talk about the Woodpecker Ultra Shear car Round Carbide uh, Cutter and Tool. It has angles on the shaft, and I've been playing around with this and like working with the different angles that's on the shaft. 
I got this inside of this bowl so smooth that I had to do very little sanding on the inside of this bowl. On the outside, I didn't use it on the outside, so I had a little more sanding to do. But on the inside, wow, it was just absolutely amazing. Um, left a good finish and um, didn't have to do a whole lot of sanding, which really pleased me. So the sanding process, I started at 80 and went clear up to 400 grit. I'm not going to bore you with the sanding process, otherwise it would take up way too much of the video time. So I will kind of skip ahead to the next part. There's a hole in here from a knot or a punky spot, I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna seal it in with some sanding sealer before I apply the glue, let it dry, and come back in with some uh, medium store bond glue and um, pigment powder. In today's YouTube video, I am fueled by Pure Leaf Herbal Teas. This is raspberry chamomile. I am not sponsored nor affiliated with Pure Leaf. I love their product and when I'm out I try to get this one or the hibiscus. Love them. They're amazing. If you would like a chance for me to feature your product on my YouTube channel for free advertising, all you have to do is send me a sample in the description below is my address. Send me a sample and I will give you free advertising right here on my YouTube channel. You cannot beat that. So I'm going to take this medium star bond CA glue and I'm going to mix it in with the graphite black um, pigment. That way I'm able to fill in this hole. I want to make it look like a natural knot and I thought this would be like the most natural way I could do it to where it would blend in with the wood. And to tell you the truth, after this bowl is finished, it's really hard to find that spot because it does look natural. For my finish, I'm using Axe. Um, they have a new kit out. It's a four ounces of the sanding paste and two ounces of the polishing paste. This kit is $12 plus shipping and handling. It is still the same formula. It has not changed. It still uses the hard carnauba wax. It's food safe. The only difference is it is smaller. The price is $12 plus shipping and handling. The coupon code does not apply to the smaller kits. If you want to use the coupon code, you have to use it on the bigger kits at checkout. So um, if you're interested in the bigger kits, you can enter my coupon code, Tanya10 at checkout, save yourself 10%. As far as the smaller kits, there's no coupon code because the price is so reasonable. Check out Axe products, you won't regret it.
right guys, we made it to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. This bowl turned out absolutely amazing. I am so glad that I took the extra steps with the calipers to check the thickness to get it exactly the way I wanted it. I'm also pleased with taking that extra time with the finish and working, working with it a little longer. It made a difference on the appearance of the bowl. Guys, I want to take time to thank each and every one of you that subscribed to my channel um, and helping me grow. I, I greatly appreciate it. You don't know how much this means to me. I put a lot of time and effort into um, what I'm doing. And as for everybody who does do a YouTube video, it takes time to turn and it takes time to edit. And, you know, just thanking you guys for taking that time out of your busy schedules to watch my videos and to like it and subscribe it means the world to me guys if you're new to my channel and have not yet subscribed please consider doing so I am almost to a thousand subscribers and whenever I reach there I will make sure to have a drawing and I will have some goodies for the winner there is stills at the end guys I hope you enjoy the pictures until next time goodbye